Hi again. Uh, what we're going to do today is show you how to use StatCrunch. And for the people who are taking their tests in the testing center, this is something you're going to need to use uh, as we progress throughout the semester. The Excel, DDXL is not something that's going to be available during tests uh, in the testing center. So make sure you can recognize this. The way to get into StatCrunch is on the Moodle homepage, there's a link right here called StatCrunch. And go ahead and run. And it should take you to a screen like this. And it's very similar to DDXL in the sense that you would just type your data in. So I'm going to type, type in the data from number 5 on page 107. These are number of words on dictionary pages, I believe. So we've typed the data in. In order to get some basic summary statistics, you go to the stat menu, summary stats, and of the columns. So we only have one column and it's variable one, so I'm going to double click on this and it should show up over here. I guess the single click is fine. And go ahead and click calculate. And that gives us a whole bunch of summary statistics. So the variable is the one right there. Ten observations, the average, x bar is 53.3. This is the variance, standard deviation, the standard error, which maybe we won't worry about for right now. The median range, min, max, Q1, and Q3. So it gives you a whole bunch of summary statistics. If we wanted to take a look at some graphics, up in the graphics menu, bar plot if it was uh, categorical, pie chart if it was categorical. You can do stem and leaf, box plot, histogram. Let's take a look at a couple of those. So this would be our stem and leaf. You know, we've talked about that. We won't use the stem and leaf a whole lot throughout the rest of the semester, but it's an option there. The histogram is going to be something that we're going to use quite a bit. So make sure, you just need to make sure your variable shows up over here. And so this would be the histogram. Um, so there's a lot of options of different things you can do. Um, and really, I think in terms of the way it runs, it runs very similar to, uh, to DDXL. So practice using this for your homework. And um, just know that in the testing center for those who are taking the test in the Casper College Testing Center. This will be available. Just click on the link through Moodle and you can use this for your homework, quizzes, and tests. Thank you.